everyone and welcome to today's update video. Today is a very exciting update. The Gen 3 Appaloosa horses are here. This is an update I have been waiting on forever and I am very very excited and I can already see one behind me and I'm so excited. So we're going to jump right into this. So let's go. Alright you guys so here we are and how cute are these Appaloosas. Now this is one I was thinking about getting, but I think I have my heart set on which four I do want to get. So I think I'm going to get this one at a later time, but they are just so stinking cute. Uh, I was very impressed from the trailer and uh, the pictures that we've seen uh, of them. They look very, very cute. Um, it's going to have it I thought I was going to have a harder time choosing, but as I like watched through the trailer again before uh, the servers went up, um, I th I'm pretty set in my mind of what horses I'm, I am going to get. So, I'm not going to get this one, unfortunately. Uh, not right now. I will, obviously, will get them all eventually, but I do have another one in mind. But still, they turned out very, very cute. Alright, you guys, so here we are at Steve's farm, and here are some of the Appaloosas. They are just so cute. But I already know which one I want to get first, and it is this beautiful black one with the. I believe it, this horse has two different color eyes, which is so cool. Um, this horse looks like a, a horse pretty similar to what. Um, a horse that I had in real life, um, and he was a stallion, he was an Appaloosa stallion, and this is pretty similar to what he looked like. Uh, he didn't have uh, the white face, he didn't have any white markings on his legs, um, but, but compared to the one in Fort Pinta, this one looks a little bit more like him, I would think. So we're going to go ahead and get this one. I'm not naming it after uh, the horse in real life that I had, because it's not a, like an exact look like. And Star Stable can always uh, put out uh, different variations. So, we're going to go ahead and get this one. Alright, so Ball Salt Blaze. I think it's a very appropriate name for him. So we're going to go ahead and get him. He'll be the first Appaloosa to join our little herd here. So let's make our way around here. So this is the Peacock Appaloosa. Very, very cute. Um, I had, when I was watching the trailer, I had a hard time choosing b between this one and the chestnut. And I think I am going to go with the uh, darker chestnut. But they're very, very cute. And they're making it actually a lot harder to like just pick one. Well, not pick one. I'm picking four. But they're making it very difficult. Um, but I'm pretty set in my ways of what horses I want. So, we're gonna have hold off getting uh, this one too, but I, have, but I am looking at this one next to her. This pretty girl. So, this is another one that I absolutely love. I love the spots. I worked with a, an array of Lusa that looks almost like her, but uh, had well, spots weren't as big. So, I am definitely going to get this one too. I already have a name picked out, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Daisy Bell. I think it's actually a very cute name for her. So we're going to go ahead and get her as well. Alright, so the other two that I want are right here, which is the Bay and Chestnut. I absolutely adore this chestnut's face. He is just so stinking cute. I can't say no. I just absolutely cannot say no to this horse, especially with those gorgeous eyes. He's so pretty. So we're going to go ahead and get him. 
Alright, so this is going to be Copper Bullet. I think it works very well for uh, name-wise. So we're going to go ahead and get him, and then get our last one, which is right over there. Alright, you guys, and this is the last one that we are going to get. We are going to get this striking bay uh, Appaloosa. Again, looks like another one of the horses that uh, my family owned. So we're going to go ahead and get him, too. And I already have a name picked out, just like I do for the rest of them. Alright, so this is Sequoia Spirit. I think it's a very appropriate name for him, so we're going to go ahead and buy him, too. And then we can go check them out in my home stable. Alright, you guys, so here they are. I already went ahead and got main styles, which surprisingly this time I chose different main styles for all of them, because they, these horses have such good main styles. Alright, so here is Ball Salt Blaze, and he is absolutely stunning, and I wish you would open your eyes, thank you. No, don't close them again. There we go. Okay, so let's see your eyes here. And he has one blue, gorgeous, really blue eye, and one brown eye. He is all in all just a very pretty horse, and I love the fur detailing on the Appaloosas. They're just really nice looking horses, and I love the speckling on him. He is very, very nice looking. And we have Daisy Bell over here, which I do believe she has blue eyes as well. Yes, she does. And I love, um, the, uh, beautiful, beautiful spa spots on her and how each spot is, like, placed differently. I often say the nap strippers were, uh, like, the test for, like, doing, uh, spotted or leopard coats. Uh, leopard complex coats. Uh, so I'm happy, very happy with how they did, uh, the spots. Uh, the leopard complex look on the apples is really, I guess, assuming proper, proper technical word. And I love the spots in the ears. Just all in all, these are such nice horses. Alright, and we have Copper Bullet over here. I think he has blue eyes too. If I'm not mistaken. Again, I love the face, love the markings on the face, love the pink around the eyes. Yes, he does have blue. Although, in this light, it looks kind of like a greenish blue, I would say. Um, but all in all, just gorgeous, gorgeous looking horses. They really are. Um, and here we have the bay. Appaloosa, if you would open your eyes, please please. And I think you're the only horse I have with full brown eyes. Yes. And I especially love the details on this one. Uh, just, oh, they're really nice horses. I don't know what to say even more than that, other than they're really nice. Really well designed. Uh, and I can't wait to try them out and see, uh, what they are like gate-wise. That's gonna be very interesting. Okay, you guys, so we are looking at the rope halters right now. And as I'm looking at them, uh, obviously I will let you guys know that these are for the Appaloosas only right now and in breeds coming up this year. They are still tailoring uh, tack to other breeds. This is one of these pieces. So obviously you're only going to be able to use this if you have an Appaloosa. So this is the black one. This is the blue. This is red. This is like a solid brown. I think I'm gonna go with the black. I think I'm gonna go with the red. I'm very surprised at their pricing, um, but I'm not complaining. So we'll do a black and a red for now. I think that's fair. All right, you guys, so we are going to be here to review the gate animations. Uh, so these are some of the idle uh, animations, which we've pretty much seen as uh, we were buying the horses. So there's really not too much to look at. Just very simple, nothing too crazy or over the top. So I do approve of the idle animations. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the gates. Now, 
What I want to look at first is because apparently these horses are gated. Okay, so this is a more comfortable walk to sit at. Now, see, when we had Appaloosas, they were all just naturally comfortable. I don't think there was like an exact gate that I remember that they could do this. I think it's just something cool that Star Stable adds. And I've heard of Appaloosas being gated, but none of my family's Appaloosas were technically gated. They were bred for Western pleasure. Um, so this was not something that I have ever experienced with an Appaloosa, but I think it's very cool. It's like the with um the Percheron's Moose Walk, which I love. So this is very interesting. It's actually really cool. I like it. Definitely different. And this is obviously their natural walk. Again, very nice head bob, nice working walk. Just all in all, very nice looking. Alright, so here is the trot. Again, nice uh, head. Good coordination with the legs. Not bad at all. Now, again, uh, for those of you who've never viewed my videos, I'm judging basically on the horse. I'm not really judging the rider because we are getting character updates uh, in the near future. So I really don't look at the rider, I just really look at the horse. Uh, so, very nice. Alright, now this I love. It's a nice, easy canter. Nothing too over the top. A nice, um, I wouldn't call it a lope. No, it, it kind of is. The more I, I'm watching it and I'm looking at it. Oh, but it's very nice looking. I actually like this gate a lot on this horse. Alright, so here's the slow gallop. Very nice. I really don't have anything bad to say with this. Looks alright. I don't see any issues with it. Alright, so here is the fast gallop, which I actually really love on this horse. It looks very nice. Alright, so let's see the sliding stop. Or the emergency stop, I should say. I don't know how much I like this. Because I was hoping for more of like a raining style, um, stop. That's what I like, kind of like to see with these types of things. Um, but it's not terrible. It's different. I'll say that, it's different. I wouldn't have expected this for the Appaloosa. Um, but it's not too terrible. It's definitely different. And I like it. Oddly enough, I like it. Alright, so nothing terrible. Alright, so that's... Pivot. Very nice. Nothing wrong there. Alright, so let's see the rear for the heck of it. And the backup, obviously. So this is the backup. Very nice. I actually really like the rear, so let's see it from this way. The rear's not over the top. The one thing I hate with uh, some of the rear horses on Star Stable is they have their mouth open. And this horse only has its mouth open at the near end. And not while... Yeah, I like this a lot, actually. It's actually very cute. Compared to the other rears that I've seen, I actually like this one a lot more. Alright, so that's the jump. They're kind of a little awkward on the landing. Let me see if I can actually get a photo of this to actually, like, study it. So, hang on. Yeah, that's... I will admit that's a little off. It looks a little weird. Um, let, me, let me see if it, at a higher speed, if it's any different. No. Um, the jump is a little bit off. I will say that. Um, but it's not terrible. But 
it definitely looks off to other jumps that I've seen previously. I mean, again, not terrible, but it looks off. I would probably not like it if I was doing a race that involved a lot of jumps. It would probably get a little annoying. Um, but you know what? It's not that bad. It really isn't. Because if I don't... Let me watch it again. Straight line. It's not terrible. I mean, I've seen a lot more worse jumps on horses uh, in-game, so this isn't too bad. Honestly. This is it the greatest? No. But, it's totally fine. I don't... And I think that's it. I believe so. So, as a review, I think they're really great horses. Um... Very similar to what the breed is in real life, the big ears. They kind of, they tend to have bigger heads. Um, so this is actually a very nice variation of the Appaloosa. I wasn't too sure in the direction that they were going to go for, but um, they actually really surprised me with this one, and they turned out very cute. And now the Western Trio is com complete, the American Quarter Horse, uh, the American Pain Horse, and the Appaloosa, so that's very cool. So, yeah. I, I like them. I would give them 4.5 stars just because of the jump and some of the gates. They're not wonky, but I th just think they're uh, different. I, that's the word I would use. I would say different. I, I'd give it. I give them a 4.5 stars. That's what I'm gonna give them. All right, everyone. That is pretty much it for this week's update video. Yes, I am back doing update videos, which is very exciting. Uh, I've missed you guys. It's been a very, very crazy couple of weeks. Um, positive Monday videos and out videos will come back, I believe, early February. Uh, but right now it's just going to be update videos. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as I have enjoyed making it for you guys. The Appaloosas turned out awesome and now the Western Trio is complete. Uh, as, well, the community would know what I'm talking about. Uh, but they turned out absolutely stunning, and I am very, very happy with them as a whole. Uh, and I hope you guys are too. Let me know which ones are your favorite in the comments below. Uh, next week, I believe Marley's farm gets a revamp, and we get a quest line, which that's going to be very fun. I hope you guys will, uh, join me for that. And as always, you guys, remember to keep it positive. Happy trails, everyone. I will see you in the next video. Bye!